Hey everyone, Dan from On One here. I'm really excited to share with you some of the performance and stability improvements that we've created for On One Photo Raw 2018.5. Now, one of the areas you're probably going to notice the most is when you change photos quickly in Browse and in the non destructive modules of Develop and Effects. So here we are inside of Browse. I'm just going to bring up my film strip view. That's kind of my favorite way to zoom through photos. And I can just arrow through these photos as quickly as I can push the arrow buttons on my keyboard. Now, Browse has been pretty fast for a while, but when you went into a module, the preview would tend to go dark and you wouldn't really see any photo for a couple seconds while it loads the photo. Well, watch what happens now. When I click on develop or effects, my photo stays in the middle and the photo opens up a lot faster. All the controls and all the options are available to me instantly. And it's not just for that first photo that I switched to from Browse. I can also arrow through my photos in Filmstrip just as fast. So watch, I can come down here and now I can arrow through those photos just like I would have in Browse and I can zip through them super fast just like that. Now brushing performance has improved a lot as well. The masking brush and the perfect brush are two of the most common masking tools and people use them every day. We've worked really hard to make those a lot faster. If you work on a Windows computer, especially with a larger monitor like a 4K or 5K display, you're really going to appreciate this performance improvement in brushing. Another spot where you're really going to appreciate that performance improvement is when it comes to exporting and sharing your photos. In the past, when you wanted to export, it kind of blocked everything and you had to wait for export to be done. Now exporting is done in the background, so you can continue to edit and work on your photos, switch to another job, even have multiple export jobs running at the same time, and you can continue to work. We also work really hard to make Photo Raw as rock solid as we can. One of the improvements we've made is all of the imaging tasks are now done in a way that if we encounter a bad photo, if we encounter, for example, a JPEG that's been corrupted, rather than crashing the application, we can continue to move on past that bad JPEG and it'll just show up with a corrupted JPEG icon. It's just another thing that we've done to make Photo Raw as rock solid and fast as we can. Thanks for watching.